Good afternoon here at Big Hill Pond State Park located in southwest Tennessee. It's a little more than an hour east of Memphis and it's about an hour south of Jackson, Tennessee here in McNary County. It is in the middle of nowhere. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing because this park is a little hidden gem here in the state of Tennessee. It is so peaceful it is so quiet and it is so pristine. You need to come and check this cool park out today. So today I'm going to show you all around the park. I got permission from the park ranger to get some drone shots. So I got a great one here at the main lake. I'm going to get another one at the tower. It's a lookout tower where you can see for miles and miles and miles. We're going to do some hiking. We're going to have some fun. I'll show you all around the campgrounds and everything. So it's going to be a great day. Come along for the journey. Our first category, as always, is natural beauty and wildlife. Now you're gonna find all of your normal woods, hiking trails, trees, deer, all the normal beautiful stuff. But what sets this park apart from other parks is its focus on wetlands. So you're gonna see the main lake, you're gonna see natural vegetation. Here, this is a beautiful shot of the cypress trees growing up straight out of the pond at the top of the hill. And then there in the bottom, you're gonna find natural wetlands. So for this category, it gets a seven out of 10. So I filmed this here in December and I was literally the only person at the entire campground. And one of the reasons for that is because this is a primitive campsite. So while you have all of your normal stuff at your campsites, you do not have electricity. So that helps keep the crowds a little bit lower and it encourages people to tent camp or to have an RV with a generator during the day. There are bathrooms here on site and there is electricity in there, obviously. And there are also several scout camping locations throughout the park and some backcountry camping sites as well. So there's plenty of camping to be had. It's very well laid out. And so for this category, it gets a seven out of 10. The next category is activities, and this category is worth 20 points instead of the usual 10. There at the lake, you have canoes and kayaks that you can rent. There's plenty of water fill-in stations throughout the park. They have a brand new playground, and right next to it, they have a brand new pickleball and basketball courts, which was super cool. They have an aviary right by the Welcome Center, and these birds were very pretty and very cool to look at. And then, of course, there's your normal kind of pergola, picnic, day use areas. Something else that is really unique to Big Hill Pond is that they have horse trails. They have their own parking lot for the horse trailers and their own trails for horseback riding, which is cool. They also have a brand new disc golf course, which I have played at. It is difficult, but very fun right in the heart of the park. Plenty of hiking is also available up here at the Big Hill Pond. And then there's this giant boardwalk that goes through the lowlands. And this is half a mile long. It's really cool to walk along and see all the beautiful nature down there. And then there's your regular hiking trails as well. Probably one of the highlights in my mind at Big Hill Pond State Park is this lookout tower. You hike to it, it's I would say a moderate hike, not too hard. And when you make it to the top, you have views for miles and miles and miles, really pretty. And so for activities, I'm gonna give this category a 17 out of 20. The main bathrooms are located here at the campground and they have your toilets, your sinks, and your showers. And while they were clean, it was very outdated. So for this category, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Our next
next category is drivability. Now this includes how easy it is to get there, but also includes things like road conditions and traffic. So it is pretty far away from any major city, but the drive is very pretty, the road is brand new, and when you get into the park, the roads are very well maintained. And so for this category, it gets a five out of 10. I had a great experience talking with the lady inside the Welcome Center as well as the park ranger who gave me permission to shoot my drone shots. And so the staff gets a nine out of 10. While there is a campground store which is opened seasonally at the main welcome center, they mainly just have souvenirs. Things for disc golf, your bumper stickers, your t-shirts, but they don't have any camping supplies or food. So you'll have to go about 10 minutes down the road to Middleton to get that type of stuff. So for this category, I'm gonna give nearby amenities a four out of 10. Next is uniqueness. Now, one of the things that I love about doing these reviews is that they are a bit subjective. And for me, getting out in the middle of nowhere and feeling like I'm all by myself is so important. And you get that experience here at Big Hill Pond. You're gonna see beautiful things, you get the wetlands, but you also get that seclusion and isolation. So I'm gonna give uniqueness an eight out of 10. Camping is $15 a night, so for this category, it gets an eight out of 10. Put it all together and Big Hill Pond State Park gets a total of 69 out of 100. This is an incredible park if all you want is peace and quiet and getting alone with the Lord. Look, it's a perfect spot right there. Fits perfectly. Hey, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you wanna see more about this Tennessee State Park, then click on the link that's popping up right now for my deep dive where I go into a lot more about all that the park has to offer. And please like and subscribe so you don't miss a single State Park video as we visit all 57 here in the state of Tennessee. God bless you and remember, God's creation is meant to be explored.